Um, I come from a family of musicians. I'm from Peru, South America. And my father was a music teacher in high school. He taught uh, everything, horns, trumpet, uh, you know, all the woodwinds and, and uh, drums and piano and everything. He was a great musician. All my brothers became musicians. Uh, my father taught him in the house, like uh, my house was like a conservatory of music, you know, in one room one playing the trumpet, in the other room the other one playing the saxophone and, and so forth. And uh, my mother told my father not to teach me music. I was the youngest one. He said, please let him, maybe he can be a carpenter or a mechanic, something else. And uh, so my father never told me anything. But I was always, when he was teaching my brothers, I was there, checking everybody out. So I learned how to play a few instruments. But my passion was for the drums. But at the same time, I had a relationship with God. When I was about seven years old, I knew that there was a God up there, omniscient, omnipresent. And uh, I used to talk to Him directly. And I used to wish a lot, dream a lot, ask Him a lot. And, uh, and He answered me. So by the, by the time I was ten years old, I became a professional musician. By 18, uh, a great musician from Cuba, his name is Perez Prado, went to Peru and he saw me play and he offered me a contract to come to the United States to do a tour for nine months all over the United States. I was young, making a lot of money, drugs, women, everything was available for me. I had no parents, no older brothers with me here in the United States to tell me, no, don't do that, no, no curfews. So, hey, wow. And all of a sudden, the biggest band, jazz band of the world, called me to play with them. And the name of this band is Weather Report. They are like the Beatles of jazz. I look up there and say, oh God, wow. You know, and my life went on just the same, with the same patterns that I had before, even bigger. Now, because it was more money, more fame, more everything. We record two records. One day, after finishing the second record, when I got the recording, I brought it to my home. By this time, by this time I was living in Los Angeles. And about three o'clock in the morning, I started listening to this recording. And tears came down. And there is a voice coming from here. Say, Alex, I know you need me now. You haven't talked to me for a long time. I want you to talk to me 
like the ways you talk to me when you were 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 years old. What happened? I broke down right there, went on my knees, opened my arms, and I said, oh God, change everything in me, please. Instantaneously, instantaneously, he did it. I received the Lord in my home. I became a Christian in my home at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, my friends, Sheila, and Luis, and everybody in the band. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, Lord, what a privilege to be able to come before you and just praise you, Lord. I want to share very briefly what this song is all about. It's a Latin song. Latin jazz song that the name of the song is El Madero El Madero in Galatians or Galatians quiere decir la cross la cruz, perdón the cross that was El Madero means and I just wanted to share with you very briefly what the cross means to all of us that knows Jesus. It means life. It means peace. It means forgiveness. It means joy. <laughs> it means victory. It means the calling of God in your life, in my life and everybody's life. It means interception. When our life, the enemy wanted to rip it out and bring it to his kingdom, Jesus went to the cross. And in Galatians 2.14 says, that everything that was written against us was dissolved in that moment when he made a big spectacle being crucified for us, for our lives. That means deliverance. He delivers us and intercepts for our lives. And now what we're doing tonight here is obeying God to pursue what he gave us and to take action of what it is to live in Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's all I wanted to share with you. God bless you, and have a great evening. Bye-bye. Praise God. I think one of my favorite memories, there's so many uh, that took place at the event in the spring.